what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um i am going to just simply set up a an email footer um and i'm going to walk you through how i do it so come into your my my communications over here on the left and then you're going to actually you, you can come into any email but when when it comes to email just in general you have your list and then you have your sequences okay so your list is your basic list when people go to your opt-in page and they fill out a form like you know if i send anybody to like this page over here any any landing page any sales page anything like that you know when someone comes over here and they opt into a form right this form is connected to a list okay so when they opt in they're all automatically on a list it's up to you if you want to tie that list to a sequence okay your sequence is your email autoresponder so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to simply come into any autoresponder. I'm going to come into any sequence. I can do, um, let's just say this one, for example, and I'm going to just come into the edit. And then I'm going to just create a footer from, from this actual sequence, but I'm going to simply save it. So I'm going to create it one time and then just save it so I can use it over and over and over for um, every future email from this point on. Now, all these previous emails like this is a sequence this is an this is my sequence so i have a ton of emails in this sequence right so what i'm going to have to do if i want to change it for everything i'm going to have to go into each one and, and manually change it right because it's not like it's going to um um if i update it here it's not going to update the entire system it's only updating it from this point on and it, you know i'm going to obviously have the ability to use that template from this point on and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just create it one time. Um, so for example, I can come into this one, click on edit. And I already have like a basic footer, but I just, a few minutes ago, I'm like, man, you know what? There's a few social media icons that are missing down there. And I wanna, I wanna add. So I just thought I'd change it and just kind of show you guys how I do it. So um, now I'm in my actual email, okay? So what I'm gonna do is you have basic, and that's for basic text. So if I just want to, you know, come in here and just write basic text, I can use their first name, I can use their last name, whatever. These are all dynamic variables where I can just copy it and then bring it over. Basic text. But what I do is I stay in advanced. And and for this um, actual um, tip, you have to stay in advanced as well because in advanced is where you can save the template. And so in here, here's what I'm going to do. Now, this is the basic footer down here that I have, um, that I had, that I have saved. And so the reason why I wanted to change it is because I just wanted to update it. I just wanted to update it. And then I wanted to add my YouTube icon down here. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do a whole different footer. So I'm going to, I'm going to look at the footers and see, you know, if we have any different ones that we can, we can go off of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, Let's just look at the footers in here. So we got we got all these different options. And also you can go to full templates and you can look at all these templates that are already done for you. So down here, you can see the footer on this bottom one. If you can actually, you know what? Let me just drag it over so you can see. So I can come in here and I can simply change out the text. I can change out the images. I can change out the button, the color. I can do all that. But this is what I'm looking for is this footer. Um, and so this has Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Um, let's see if there's any others. So let's delete this, delete this, delete this. So I can, I can come in here and I can change all of it. You guys, I can delete what I don't want and then just use, you know, what I do want, but this is the full blown template, right? So now I'm back to my original one. So let's go back to the templates and see if there's an actual footer that I like. So there's that one down there. That one. Um, see how this one's a little bit more colorful. So that's what I was kind of going for, but I'm looking for the YouTube one, the YouTube icon as well but let me see if i can yeah i'm going for more of that that color one 
see how this one down here is is just simply, you know, I don't know what that's like a light shade of black. I'm looking for this colorful one. So let's go see if there's any more. Um, there's so many different templates, you guys. See, that's why I can drag the whole thing over and use, you know, the 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 template. But let's go back. Let's go and see if we can find some hooders. So I got headlines, different headlines. I can just simply drag over, which is really cool. Text, content, images, buttons, videos, headers. Um, there's footers. Okay, so we got this footer, this footer, this, this, this. And those are the footers that we can choose from. So with that being said, let me look at this one real and I can change the colors as well. Let me see if there's a if there's a YouTube one. There's like I could have swore I saw something. Actually, that's email. Okay, so I can take that off. Let's see if I can go back to the full templates. Let me see that colorful one. Okay, so there's that one. And the reason why I was looking for, let's see. I'm gonna drop it at the bottom. And the reason why I was looking for one that already has, see, I like that a little better, the colors, right? Um, I was looking for one that has YouTube because I don't think I can add it. See, I can't, I can't add it. Those are the ones that they give you by default. And you know what? I might end up just going with those anyways. Um, I might end up just going with those anyway. So let's delete this one, delete this one, delete that, delete that, delete that. Okay, so we got this down here, or I got this right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this top one. And then this logo, I don't really care for that right there. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna simply get rid of this. Okay, perfect. So I like it, I like the colors, the colors like that better. So I'm gonna go Facebook. And even though I can't put my YouTube, I mean, yeah, my YouTube icon there, that's fine. Um, but at least I have my Instagram and and the LinkedIn and and now they're now they're the colors. So here's what I'm gonna do. So um, I'm going to simply come to my Facebook page, grab my URL, copy, and then bring it right here, paste. And then I'm going to do the same thing for Twitter. Let's come over here, grab this. And then paste that in right here. And then I'll do the same thing for Instagram. Copy that. And then paste that right there. And then I'll do the same thing for LinkedIn. Grab that. And then paste that right there. Okay, perfect. So obviously not you know, Pinterest and, and, and YouTube is what I really wanted, but actually YouTube is what I really wanted, but, but that's fine. As long as I can, you know, add some color to the footer, that's, that's cool. And you know what, what I can do is I can maybe just grab this text and I can bring it down right down below, drop it there. And what I'm, what I might do is just simply grab my copyright. Let's see what it looks like. Let's grab that. 
this isn't really necessary, but um, I'll put it anyways, and I'll make it a little smaller. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's cool. So that's my footer, you guys. That's the footer. Um, you want to make sure you, you know, you you don't want to, you know, put too much into your email. Like I don't. The most I do is an image, um, some hyperlinks. I try not to put too many images in the actual body of the email because Google and a lot of email um, client providers is what you call them. Um, these email platforms. A lot of times they'll send those to the to the spam or they'll send it to the promotionals folder. Um, because it's, it, it's, it's flagged as some type of advertisement or some type of promotion when you have a ton of images in the body. So that's why I try not to go re really go with full templates like this, like all fancy and stuff. You can, um, if you have like an engaging list and people actually open them and people actually reply and, and people are engaging, then, you know, the, the email providers will actually recognize that and know that it's not spam. But, um, in the beginning, sometimes these ones land in those folders and I just don't want, want that to ever happen. So I try to keep it basic, keep it text. Um, and, and, and that has just given me a pretty high open rate for sure. And a really good solid list, um, as far as people, you know, who engage in what I email. So the most I'll do is some type of image and then, and then these icons down here. So here's what I can do. I can send a test and let's send it to, Okay, so let's send test and let's see what that looks like. So a little bit more better than how I had it, right? I mean, um, just adding some colors is, you know, is cool. So let's see what this looks like. So it should come out with the subject reading uh, test. Bam, right there. So test, just wanted to say hello. That's the email. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And that just, you know, added some color to the page. So if I click on any icon you always want to test your icons obviously takes you straight to my facebook so there's that one and then the twitter let's test that takes you straight to my twitter instagram bam and then linkedin Awesome. Okay, cool. Now, when you're building your landing pages, when you're in here and and um, actually, let me let me make sure I say this real quick. When you're in here and you're creating pages, you can clone these. So if you have a footer on an actual page, you can clone it and you can make this icon whatever you want. You can add icons. You can change it to YouTube. You can have different YouTube icons. You can do all that in the page builder, but for some reason in the email builder, um, you can't you can't add or or change this icon. You got to kind of go with what they what they have there, which is cool. That's fine. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to leave this 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 down here. I think I'm going to get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that part, and I'm going to just leave it leave it like that. Okay, um, and then I can save as template. Perfect. So now, whenever I go into any future email, that's the template I'm going to bring over. So let me delete the previous template that I had. So if I come over here to my templates, it's this top one right here. See the colorful ones down there, the color icons on the bottom right corner. So that's the one I just saved. This is the one that I had previously. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to just save this top one and I'll use this one. I'll drag this one over, change the text, change the image for any future emails. So that's how I update my emails, you guys. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply make sure I save it. Just click on the green button, edit. And now I have a new template for all future emails. So I'll get out of this part. Let's, let's close this out. and then done and exit. And that's all you guys. So add some footers, get a little, you know, not not too fancy with it, 
but definitely add, you know, some color and some, and, and, and your, and your social media icons, that's most important and just direct, you know, your audience and your traffic to where you want them to go, which is social media. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video over now.